Hello and welcome to Talking Tolkien. Today we're going to look at a long-awaited book which um, I think it's been about, about three weeks now. I tried to do a video but for various reasons, uh, mainly due to catching a cold, I didn't actually get around to it until today. However, what we've got is The Silmarillion, new illustrated edition. And we've also, we're going to look in this video as well as that one, we are going to look at this sumptuous edition. I've not even opened this yet. You can see on there, hopefully, that in there is Silmarillion Deluxe. That'll be later. First of all, the Silmarillion. Now, a note on the book, first of all, or the history of the, the title. Um, I've done a video a while ago, you can find it, hopefully linked up there, about the other versions of this that came out, going right back to the first edition in 1977. Since then, there have been a few editions released. Um, probably the most, the nicest one to this point, I would say, is this one, which again is illustrated by Ted Nasmith. That's quite a big book, as you can see, but, and again, this is in that other video, but the pages are all nice and glossy and colourful and and large. So that that's a, was a great edition. But that was a few years ago. Now, as you've seen maybe recently with some of the other um, books that Harper Collins have been releasing, such as The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, that illustrated box set. We also had Unfinished Tales released uh, back end of last year. And um, before that, there were like the, the Fall of Gondolin, books like those. We're all in a similar style. So this kind of fits in nicely with that style. Okay, so now let's have a look at the book itself. Glossy, uh, not glossy rather, matte finish on the front. And you can see the title there of the Silmarillion is uh, embossed and gold. Same on the uh, spine. What a lovely image on the back. Now this is illustrated by Ted Nasmith, who um, is my favorite of the Tolkien published authors. And he'd also illustrated this earlier edition. Now, there's actually, I've done a quick count, and there's a few more illustrations in this new edition than there was in that previous one. I think it works out about five more. As an example, if you're really familiar with that old edition, there is a little bit more in here. Here's one. This is Turgon visits Film Golfin's Cairn. So that wasn't in that large illustrated edition I just showed you. So it's nice to get a little bit extra in here, though the vast majority of the illustrations are the same. So of 49 in here, I believe 44 were published previously. Okay, so that's, that's that. I keep getting asked to take the dust jacket off. There you go, here's the dust jacket off. Nice brown colour. I don't know why it's brown, um, but that was the kind of colour of what's it, Unfinished Tales, the first edition of that. There we go, there's the nice end papers from Christopher Tolkien's, um, Christopher Tolkien's maps. And a title page, their copyright page rather, and the titles. Now we get a bookmark, ribbon bookmark, like the others. Looks a bit wonky there. And again, if we show you an example of the pages, you can see at the top that it's a nice uh, like deep red colour, and that appears on the headers of each page, which again mirrors that which was done in Unfinished Tales, which I think was blue, and The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, which was green and red, maybe. Uh, but looks really nice. Yeah, good. Good stuff. Again, lots of illustrations. Now, stuff at the start. So we get the forward, which was originally by Christopher Tolkien on original publication in 77. And we also get the preface to the second edition in 99, again, written by Christopher Tolkien. And that explains the inclusion of a lengthy letter that Tolkien wrote to Milton Waldman in 1951, which gave an overview to him. As about what the Silmarillion was because they were looking at publishing it but it was obviously quite tricky to wrestle with how to publish it so you know nearly 30 years before it eventually got published they were they were discussing it so you can tell that 
the gestation period for this was was long and, and I mean the, the written work of it was was far longer than that get nice sketches on the individual chapters as you can see the, the colors in here are, are really good I've seen some criticism maybe when you compare this so they're glossy pictures and obviously they're larger in this so you maybe get more detail whether the gloss allows them to stand out better I'm not sure so that's that's that glossy version there good luck um, and that's there so you can maybe just see the pages there are a little bit uh, a bit duller personal preference probably I wouldn't worry too much myself about it but but yeah I'm just making you aware I suppose okay I don't think there's too much else to say about that particular book retails for 30 pound you should get it significantly cheaper than that um, I got this off Amazon so there's, there's a few of course there's some scuffs on it which is frustrating because of the material they use on the on the dust jackets I don't know if this will pick up but along that edge there it's it came like this it was already a little bit um, a bit scuffed uh, which yeah that's all right I suppose so that's that that's the Silmarillion now we'll look at the deluxe edition what you've been waiting for so thank goodness they all come in a sturdy box or at least the ones I've seen this was the same case with the deluxe of unfinished tales now this already got banged up when Amazon delivered the box which was delayed anyway because the first one got so damaged they didn't even try and deliver it so when they re-delivered it was the box was in, in bits like and you can see on the edge of this it's all scuffed you might maybe we can't see that but it was all scuffed so um I didn't have the best uh, confidence in the condition of the book itself but thank goodness they released it in this sturdy box because we can see here it's fine it's completely untainted from its terrible ordeal which we'll never speak of again okay so some really an illustrated deluxe edition uh, what this includes on the back as it says double fold out poster which reproduces two paintings by Ted Nasmith white chips from Valinor and Luthien at Tolgalen large colour poster let's just get into it shall we oh dear didn't think this through okay good so unboxing this is a new frontier for talking Tolkien unboxing right okay there's the details of what's in here okay that's nice isn't it I don't think you can have any complaint that that doesn't look really good I tell you what though it's it's jolly vivid watch watch your eyes this might hurt That's one uh, one deep shade of, of orange. Goodness me. Okay. Right, let's open it up. So so there you can see the um, the cover reproduces. Now this image you might re recognise if you just saw the video I just made. Uh, so yeah, that's obviously off the juggling off this book and then on the other side of that poster is this so that's nice I wouldn't frame it because it's got these lines on it but they're nice to have the larger pictures so I approve of that that's at the front of the book and then at the back we get that map of Beleriand drawn by Christopher Tolkien I think there was an issue with some of them where they got two of those I think so I'm, I'm relieved to see that 
one's arrived as it should have. So there's the book. It's it's quite thick, you know. It's got a lot in here. Fairly heavy paper. There's the um, the colour inside. That really is. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera as much as it is, but that is such a vivid orange. What I'd like to see. So you see on the front. See this. This picture's obviously been been stuck on on some of the previous ones like Father Christmas Letters, the deluxe edition of that, they did something similar and it looked horrendous because they hadn't put it on straight. Whereas looking at that, that's on perfectly straight. So I'm glad to see that. That's the kind of detail you would expect to see on the um, deluxe edition. And they haven't let me down. Well done. There's probably not too much else to say because the content's the same. Let's just do a quick compare. Now the size is exactly the same and the size will be the same as the deluxe edition of Unfinished Tales. I haven't seen them lined up, I'll have to dig out a photo if I can. Um, but yeah, I like this. I think um, once again they're, they're making some really nice additions at HarperCollins and I think, um, yeah, I think it's really good. So. That's pretty much the Silmarillion. What have we got to look forward to? You might have noticed the date for um, the nature of Middle Earth, which I discussed it in the Christmas video. Uh, it's been pushed to June, so I think we'll be seeing that in June. Very much looking forward to that as it contains some unpublished writings of Tolkien. So we've got that in June. And then later in the year, you might have seen this as well, where they're releasing a one volume Lord of the Rings with Tolkien's illustrations in, which is very interesting. It looks like a really nice book, especially the deluxe edition of that. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that one and um, I hope to bring you a video whenever we see that. So hopefully that's helped. This has been the Silmarillion deluxe and illustrated edition. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.